At the stop sign, turn left onto Galloping Hill Road. Hey there, Celestial Mystics. It's your girl again, Tiffany Satchel, your 1111 coach. And if you didn't know, on this channel, we talk about magic. We talk about angels. We talk about universal laws. And we talk about Sarah. It's Leo season. And I'm sharing tips on how to play this cosmic game of life to win. Now, before we jump deep, in a quarter mile, turn left onto Tucker Avenue into these cosmic streams. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little cosmic humor for you. Why did the sun refuse to take a break? Go past this light because it couldn't it handle the eclipse. Get it? It couldn't handle the eclipse. The eclipse. <laughs> You're only gonna laugh if you know what an eclipse is. You might you might want to look that one up. Turn left onto Tucker Avenue. Then okay. take a slight left turn. Uh -uh. Wait a minute. I'm the wrong. Okay. I'm this way. Sorry, guys. Take a slight left turn. All right. Keep I'm so freaking hilarious. I'm so hilarious. <laughs> All righty. Now let's get into the magic. Sorry, I got a little distracted. I was. I had to make it do a. a a tight turn. All right. Um, let's get into the magic. Let's talk about the first quarter moon. All right. And I hope you set some goals this week because we are entering a critical phase in this part of the lunar cycle. All right. The moon is now halfway between the new moon and the full moon. Energetically, it's, ash, it's action time, okay? It's action time. The seeds that we've planted are beginning to take root. And you may even begin to notice some sprouts. You may even notice... Save some... five minutes via West St. George Avenue. Hold on, let me turn this off because... Talking too much. I just watched the screen. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, you may even notice some challenges as you move towards your goals. So do your very best to make the best decisions for yourself and those involved. Remember, this collective is for the good of all, according to free will. But you always want to put your mask on first. Okay? You put your mask on first. Because you must survive. <laughs> you must survive. Because your people need you. And I'm a strong believer of no man left behind. That's why I'm sharing this info with you. Now that you've got momentum, you need to push through to keep going so aside from taking inspired action and making the very best decisions possible you'll accomplish this through pure intention of course and you will not go wrong with pure intention for good you either achieve a breakthrough or learn a lesson either way is perfect nothing is lost all things are useful all right we are being urged to evaluate our progress and I'm going this way even though 
the same go straight we are being um urged to evaluate our progress and <clears throat> confront resistance and face our fears to make necessary changes okay so <clears throat> so be encouraged and stay faithful keep going don't look to the left or to the right and risk getting distracted by those who want to throw you off your your, your course and slow you down in some way because they haven't done the work that's their problem all you can do for them now is demonstrate how it's done if they choose to get on board can support them through your demonstration period your only concern at this point are your loyal loved ones your day oneers if you have any <laughs> some of us are doing this solo dolo <laughs> um, and you're doing this for you and those the divine have entrusted you with so keep moving forward and do not allow challenges to affect you remember this phase demands action decision making and sometimes a little bit of compromise without sacrificing your integrity of course okay so let me prepare you energetically for the first quarter moon. Which can feel like you're being pushed. Internally and externally. <laughs> so you won't, may not be very comfortable right now. But you can use this drive of tension and uncomfortable uncomfortability hope I said that right uncomfortability <laughs> to experience growth and level up right before the eyes of your open and hidden enemies as they stand in awe of you making things happen despite their tactics to stop you and throw you off your game so even if it feels challenging Take bold steps towards your goals at this time. So we have Leo in the sun and the first quarter moon in Scorpio. Fire and water. Passion and emotions. Energy and sensitivity. Creativity and intuition. When we combine the creative self-expression of Leo with the intense transformative qualities of Scorpio, we get a powerful blend of courageous self-expression and deep emotional transformation. So guess what that means? Get ready to face your fears, express your true self, and transform anything holding you back from your fullest potential. I'm talking about alchemy. Magic, baby. It's totally okay to express yourself now. Now is not the time to allow the projections of those who suffer from low self-esteem to distract you, all right? <laughs> you are being called to step into your power. This is a time of great potential and it requires bravery 
and a willingness to face the darker aspects of your psyche. It's time for you to transform, shed those old skins, and emerge more powerful than before. Be strong. And assert your independence. Here are three things to be mindful of because the enemy is always at work. They never get rest. An evil mind is never at peace. Be mindful of power struggles or the need or desire to dominate others. It's a tactic of the enemy to trick you out of your spot and disgrace you in some way. The energy of Scorpio can be very intense at times, so be careful with emotions of jealousy, obsession, or the need to control. Transform these emotions into something positive like admiration, dedication, and commitment or mastery. The energy of the first quarter moon pushes for action so you might feel impulsive at times. Be mindful and align with your true desires at all times. Aim your demonstrations towards the desire to achieve excellence without the negativity that breeds from obsession or the need to control everything. And now, how can you make these energies work more for you than against you? Embrace your power. Do shadow work. Take inspired actions and balance your ego and your heart. Your head and your heart needs to be balanced, of course. Take the leadership role in your life by allowing infinite intelligence to guide you inwardly and express your true self without fear. Now, how do you do that? By simply asking for help. You can say something simple like, infinite intelligence, I totally move out of the way for you to lead, guide, and protect me today. Say that over and over throughout your day and submit to your inner awareness. You will never go wrong or be led astray when you submit to the guidance of your inner awareness. But you have to ask. Ask and it shall be given. Matthew 7, 7. The more of a follower that you can be on the inside, the more authority you have in your environment. And here's a hard one that many of us struggle with. I know I do, but I'm working on it. Don't shy away from what needs to be healed or released. Ask for the help with that, okay? You can use a serenity prayer. If you are submitting to your inner guide and set intentions for the direction you desire to go, now you have to take inspired actions. And you do that by trusting your, your intuition. Trust your gut. <laughs> you can trust that your very first instinct is the best thing to do because you are lining up your thoughts and actions and making requests for divine guidance. I know. 
here's a real life example imagine you're working on a new project and suddenly you get a clear vision of how to how to approach it differently instead of overthinking or questioning it you immediately start implementing this new idea trusting that it's the right path this is inspired action and emotion moving forward with confidence driven by an inner knowing taking inspired action is about trusting yourself being open to divine guidance and moving forward with confidence and joy it's a dance between your intuition and your actions leading you closer to your goals in a way that feels effortless and fulfilling lastly allow the courage of Leo to guide you by leading with your heart and not your ego. This means that you move from a place of love and compassion. Here's another real life example. Something I really recently experienced. At my workplace, the managers are trained to be coaches now. <laughs> Go figure. And the crew members are called team members. Okay? Now, I'm a manager, and I mainly work with other managers on my shift who have double and some even triple the years I've been in the co company. Not to mention, I'm way younger than them and achieved my position much faster than them as well. Some of them. And some of them don't like that. So, we're working on a team task and one of the other managers criticizes my ideas in front of the entire team. <laughs> I was so embarrassed and so angry I was mad at first I wanted to defend myself and criticize her in return this was my ego wanting to protect me inside I was like oh wait let me go to the next street how dare she criticize me I'm going to point out all the flaws in her work which would have just escalated the conflict creating even more tension in our already tense relationship and I use the word relationship loosely here because she bullies all the other team members so instead of reacting from ego, I took a deep breath so that I could reflect. I did this on a dime, too. I then didn't feel the need to defend myself. Because I already knew that everyone sees her as a bully. She demonstrated that by her remark. I was then able to have compassion on her because I knew that even though she would never admit it, my presence threatens her because she's insecure and I intimidate her. I chose to respond with love and compassion and say, okay, we'll just do it your way. She's also afraid 
to change things. Even though most of the team was willing to do something new and different, she resisted. One of the other managers said to me later on, we can do it your way when she's not around. And that was fine for me too. But by choosing love and compassion over ego, I not only de-escalated a potential conflict, <laughs> but I also built a stronger, more collaborative relationship with the other team members through my demonstration of patience and poise okay the team members enjoy working with me way more than they do with her and she notices that <laughs> so now she's nicer to them because she sees how they engage with me so now to make the best of this first quarter moon meditate on what you wish to express and what you need to transform write your intentions and ask for the aligned steps towards achieving them and use affirmations That's about all I have for you now. Thanks for watching my vid. Um, remember the energies of the sun and Leo in the first quarter moon in Scorpio are here to help you step into your power and transform your life. So embrace the challenges. Take inspired action. And watch as manifest your desires with confidence and grace I promise if you enjoy this video remember to like comment and share because sharing is caring <laughs> share it with anyone who needs a little cosmic guidance and as always, I'm sending you so much love, that agape kind of love.